Hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. We're going to do an, a reading because I'm feeling it called, I do them randomly, who's coming in? Because I feel like there's this new energy coming in and I felt it from last night. And it felt like this very older, mature energy had a silver fox vibe to it, meaning like an older gentleman. Um, whether this is older in age, like actual muggle years, or older in just energy, like an old soul feeling, you know? I just kept felt it really strong from last night and it felt like new love. So, how about we give a good shuffle here? Children, your love life is being affected by children. I seen it immediately in my head. Someone here has children, you or them. There's this sense of sharing custody for some of them. So they may have previously been married or they had children with someone they're not with anymore. You were them. There's a sense here of the children are going to love you. They could have animals as well. But I feel like the children here love you. Let's say one of you don't have children and the other one does that person's children really likes the other person that doesn't have kids let's say both of you don't have kids this is like you work with children children really love you you know there's this thing about kids you also have your finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now some of you may be going through a transition meaning the old cycle is clearing out so this new one is beginning there may be a pinch for money for some for some, you're finally starting to see the fruits of your labor, but for some of you, you're in this in-between, right? And the old cycle's closing, the new one hasn't started yet, so you're kind of like, and that always happens. I find that to be the case for myself as well. It's, it's ebb and flow, right? It's peaks and valleys, and that's sort of like indicative of also like a heartbeat, you know, highs and lows, but also like in stocks, you know, the Dow, it's up and down, up and down, up and down with, you know, stocks and stuff, so someone here their finances might go down before they actually skyrocket and go up that's what i'm feeling this is you or them okay you also have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation now also they could work in in, in finance and, and and investments and things of that sort or they have a lot of money here as well okay could be the wealthy man kind of an energy and that's exactly what i was feeling too to be honest with you a wealthy fucking man or masculine so this means here that they're not your usual type Usually when people hear that, they freak the fuck out, right? And they think that that means, well, then now they're going to be have to deal with someone who looks like Shrek or fucking Quasimodo from, you know, Hunchback of Notre Dame. And it's like, get out your motherfucking head about that shit. Even if it was Quasimodo and that was your person, you would be fucking in love and wouldn't even notice that they were Quasimodo, okay? I mean, hello, you're going to be in love with someone that you are extremely attracted to, period. Even if they're not your usual type. This thing here about the, the open mind thing could just be, what if you guys come from different backgrounds? What if there is an age difference? And the tower here, whatever it is, it comes in quickly and it knocks you both off your feet. See that how two people are falling from the tower? Knocks you off of your feet. It's mind blowing. This catches you both off guard. You don't see it coming. The tower is also a sudden ending. So there could have been divorce. Or, 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 or break up here. And now it makes sense why the bottom of the deck here said separation. So someone here may have recently ended things with another person, okay? But the tower also can just indicate divine intervention. Course correction, yeah? The universe says, um, it's not supposed to be like that. And then they kind of wait to see what you're gonna do about it. They show you little hints show you like little signs and synchronistic shit, angel numbers. You still don't do it? They're gonna come in and do it for you. Page of Cups. Page of Cups could be a younger water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could also indicate wealth. This could also indicate friendship. The Sun and the Knight of Wands. The Sun here could be a yes card. It's a card of success. It's a Leo energy as well. It's also a card of enlightenment and truth and awakening, right? Someone here that comes in, it's like you bring the sun. They never laughed 
the way they laugh with you. They've never smiled and, 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 and their cheeks hurt. So you, you both, your cheeks hurt so much from smiling so much. Now, for those of you that this hasn't happened yet, it's yet, okay? Don't be discouraged. Oh, that didn't fucking happen yet. There's a reason the word yet exists in the fucking dictionary. Because <laughs> it didn't happen yet. Okay? Knight of Wands. Passion. It could come in super fucking quickly. The thing about the Knight of Wands is that it's this very fast, quick energy. Okay? And sometimes that could be a one night stand. Right? But I don't feel that energy here. It just feels like something comes in very quick fast it comes in out of nowhere it's overnight you know that kind of a feeling three of swords so someone here was healing from heartbreak she fell on top of the sun sun is healing healing from heartbreak someone here in the past may have had their heart broken you or them some of them it's third party cheating some of them set their own selves up for failure self-sabotage Two of Pentacles, someone's going back and forth on something in the world completion. Feels like someone here was going back and forth on ending something, okay? Whether this is ending a job, leaving a job, whether this was a relationship, this is where that universe is going to come and intervene. If it's something that like should have ended, the universe will fucking come in and do it for you. The Ace of Wands, something huge comes in. A huge wand. Big dick energy. Three of Cups, you're going to be celebrating that big dick energy. Uh, a big wand came in. <laughs> oh, putting that in the group chat. I mean, that is a reason to celebrate, hunty. A divine dick. The whip. Arguments fighting, repeat pattern over and over. Someone here finally freed themselves from a karmic relationship. Over and over is the thing repeating. Someone here finally learned their lesson. They stopped doing the same fucking thing they've always been doing. Look at that. I told you, big dick energy, the bear. The bear is very, very protective and very strong and very muscular and affluent, right? It's the boss. It is the CEO. The dolphins, friendship. I told you, bitches, this is friends for some of you. Friends becoming lovers. The tower. Tower is someone who wants to be alone. Someone here who tends to sort of be more independent. And then you have the clock, which is perfect timing. The past. This could be someone that you may have had a test run with. But if it was a test run, it was like a trial. Didn't actually turn out to be anything. That's for some that if you guys did have this sort of coming back in and for some it's a brand new person, but there's this thing about like, where have you been all of my life kind of a vibe. It's very cheesy and romantical, right? But I mean, would it really be a beautiful love story if it wasn't cheesy and romantical? I don't fucking think so. I really don't. I don't think so. So this person coming in, oh, the way you guys make each other feel. There's such an intense chemistry. It reminds me, and it could also be irritation. Like, remember in Pride and Prejudice how Mr. Darcy was so fucking irritated about the way he felt about Elizabeth? And also for Bridgerton, season two, the Viscount with Kate, you are the bane of my existence. Although I desire you and I can't stop thinking about you day and night, you know, I mean, it's just like total irritation. But also, I desire you so much meeting someone new. Dating, getting back out there. I told you there's someone new here. You're going to meet someone new. Or it's someone who wants to take you out. Someone who wants to spend time with you. Love. Then you also have the Grim Reaper bottom of the deck. And it says the relationship is over. So whatever relationship that was on the table that may have kept the two of you guys apart, that's over. If there was this thing about the two of you guys were friends and refusing to cross that line, that's over. Now you guys are together as lovers. Um, but there's a sense here of being afraid to get hurt. The moon, secret emotions. The moon is Pisces energy as well. We just came out of Pisces season, but the moon is divine feminine. 
it's sensuality, right? It's dream, subconscious. But the moon is what you do not see coming. It's what's hidden. You don't see this person coming or coming back. The Four of Cups. There was definitely the sense of dissatisfaction in the past, a lot of tears, a lot of wanting something that may not have wanted you back. So unrequited love in the past, whether it's with this person or with you just dealing with that shit before the two of you guys meet, okay? Three of Cups. There's a shift. See how the cups look like they're moving because you have this sense of like swooshing almost with that like energy kind of written in the cards. There's an energy shift. Yeah, there's the energy shift right fucking there, the two of cups. Romantic love going from, you just can't make it up. For some, there could have been a third party situation. But for some, it feels like the friendship thing. Friends that become lovers. Why did I said that like three fucking times in three different readings today? Friends that become lovers. It's also this energy though of it coming in so fast for some that has nothing to do with friends becoming lovers. It's brand new people. Where it has a feeling to it of. It's just, you just don't see this. It's like on purpose too, that you don't see this coming. So what's coming in, what you don't see coming. In your extended, because, oh, we're going to do an extended for this. We're going to be using the Divine Masculine Hot Guy Messages deck that I received as a gift from beautiful Hillary and Viv. Hillary makes these cards, okay? So... Um, she is going to be putting in the link there, you know, one of the comments below. And, and in fact, it's in that other reading that I did, um, that special love reading I did. I use those cards as well. And it's supposed to be a way to get in touch with her because she doesn't have her Etsy shop or anything up yet. But anyways, we're going to use those cards to see what the divine masculines or masculines are feeling, you know, what kind of energy. We're also going to use the sexual tarot magic deck cards, of course, in this extended. So to purchase rent this extended, Click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to take you to the description box. A link will be there. Click on the link. It's going to take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. You are going to find this in the special love slash oracle readings. Okay, that's where this extended will be. Can't go wrong if you just match up the title and the default picture to what you're looking for. Okay, special love oracle readings. I also want to thank you guys for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And don't forget now on TikTok, as well as on Instagram, I do not have multiple accounts. I have one on each. I don't have backups. And I would never, ever, ever approach you for a reading. I would never solicit you, you know, come forward and, hey, you want a reading? Those are scammers. Do not add them. Report them immediately, okay? Do not get duped. I would never approach you for a reading and say, hey, send me money so I can read for you. That's weird. It's not true. It's not how real healers and light workers work. You come to us. We don't go to you, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this extended, honey. I have a feeling it's going to be juicy as fuck. See you there. Love you. Bye.